ever so keen. Watch out or he'll eat your spleen. Got a fright in the night. No saving you from your terrible plight. <laughs> During the 16th century Scotland, there was a cannibal by the name of Sonny Bean. He and his girlfriend weren't really right in the heat. They ran away to find a place where they could set up camp together without the scrutiny of normal human civilization. They set up residence in Banning Cave. But who knew the terror which would befall all who went by that cave? It was hidden, for it was near the water. It had such a small opening that only really one person could get through it at a time. The water would mask the scent and made it incredibly difficult for anybody to travel in or near the cave when the tide was in. They survived by capturing wandering people who'd wander too close to the cave, and devouring them and pickling their flesh to eat for later. They were undiscovered for 25 years and grew to an incestuous family of 48 in total. It was said that they were responsible for the cannibalism of over 1,000 people. One day, a man and a girl were riding on horseback past the cave and the family attacked. It was said that they dragged a woman off of her horse and started ripping in and eating her flesh there and then in front of the husband. The husband managed to fight off the cannibals, shooting into the crowd and driving his horse away. Although it was too late for his girl, he managed to ride away and find help. King James VI, who ruled at this time, sent forward guards, scores of guards and hound dogs to try and find the cave and find the family. When they got to the escarpment upon which the couple were attacked, they found only blood and human remains. The hound dogs managed to find the cave for the tide was out and inside they found a horrible sight. Pickled limbs lay hanging from the cave entrance and close to the water and body parts and bones were strewn across the cave floor. The smell was said to be unbearable. Every single cannibal was taken from the cave, grabbed by the guards and taken to Tolbooth in Edinburgh where they'd await their justice. So hideous were their crimes that James VI came up with something just as terrible to punish them. The men had their limbs torn clean off and were left to bleed to death whilst the women watched. The women were then burned alive. And such was the end of Sonny Bean.